Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I am going to teach you about keywords, identifiers, and variables. Okay, so this is very important aspect in programming. So let's start with keywords. What are keywords? Keywords are the reserved words or the predefined words that we cannot use as an identifier or a variable, but it gives a special meaning to the compiler. So let's see some examples of keywords. We have abstract then public, break, implements, extends, return, okay, so all these are keywords. Next is identifier. What is an identifier? Identifier is a string of alphanumeric characters and underscore character, okay. So basically an identifier can include alphabets, numbers and underscore. But it should start with a alphabet or underscore. It cannot start with a number. Then second thing is identifiers are case sensitive. Okay. Then uh, so like if I can give you an example. So identifier can be anything. For example, I have okay. So I am declaring a variable here. So, number, this is an identifier. This is an identifier. Now, number, this should be unique. This is case sensitive. So, if I write int number and then if I write int number. So, these two are different. These are two different data. So, th these are considered as two different variables. Okay. So it is case sensitive then it should start with a number or an underscore so you can even add an underscore here okay so it can be like this then identifiers uh, it can it cannot contain white spaces so you cannot write something like num data equal to five okay so this will be wrong you cannot write like this you cannot enter white space then um, of course it should be unique you cannot if you write again then it will be like you have already declared the same variable above okay so yeah so this is about identifiers next is variable so variable is basically a container that stores a data or a value while the program executes okay and during the program execution the value or this variable the value in this variable the value or the data that can be changed due to any operation while the execution of the program okay so like it is not final unless we declare it is final okay so it can be changed now of course as i have written variable means keyword plus identifier okay so this int i have written it is also a keyword if I write care name equal to Raj and this care is also a keyword this int is a keyword this number underscore number and name all these are identifiers okay so variable is keyword plus identifier we need both keyword and keyword and identifier to create a variable okay and we cannot use keywords as identifiers or identifiers as keywords both are not possible then next is a variable as i told you these are keywords but these are also data types okay so every variable has a specific data type or a specific type which determines the size of that variable how many bytes can be stored in that variable so like what is the size of that variable what is the range of data that can we keep, that we can store in that variable and what are all the operations that we can perform on that variable so like if I, if it is an integer okay so th this number i can perform operations like addition subtraction multiplication division etc okay while if it is character i can perform operations like i, I can append another character okay <coughs> so this is how keyword identifier and variables are related to each other 
so i hope you find this video useful if you want to learn more on programming do visit my website at let's understand java.com thank you so much